Hi Aquarius, I'm Brenda and I'm here to give you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of April 6th to April 12th. In addition to this seven card poll, I have added one oracle card to tie in to the end of this week because I've had some feedback from people and they said they really enjoyed that last card, oracle card. So starting your week Aquarius, you have been given the Ten of Earth. And this is all about, this tells me, um, and again I tell people the Earth cards generally have to do with our, uh, our, our abundance that we bring in, our financial part of our lives that we bring in through our jobs, our careers, and how we make our money. Excuse me. This one telling me that you not only have a wonderful, wonderful family life and you're happy there, but also your financial matters have been met. And this card is basically saying for you to enjoy all of that abundance that has come into you because you've earned it and you worked for that. But it's saying that the message here is you need to find the magic in the little things in life. On Tuesday, you've been given a major card, which is the Awakening card. And this is all about uh, looking at situations uh, in a different perspective. And uh, something that perhaps you're getting into or you've been thinking about getting into um, is going, there's going to be a little bit of a, of, um, a temporary standstill with this issue and this situation. Um, anyway, all through this, whatever it is you're involved in, um, it's going to be awakening to you because it's going to teach you to stand up for yourself. On Wednesday, you've been given another Earth card, and this one is the Six of Earth. The Six of Earth is a card that talks about um, gifts that are going to come into you in the form of money, um, time, or effort. Uh, there could be uh, new opportunities with a career. And uh, with this career, it may involve you um, having to take courses or go back to school because it mentions that you may be taking out a loan uh, and receiving money uh, through a loan. And perhaps because most of these earth cards have to do with our profession, our jobs, and how we make a living, this may have to do with that. Um, or there will be others out there who are paying off a loan or a debt. On Thursday, you've been given an air card, and this is the page of air. This is about someone who could be a nephew, a young sort of individual. It could be a nephew or a niece, because this can be male or female. This is a young person, uh, early in their years, uh, and they are very logical, honest, and impulsive and curious. And they may be around you now. They could be the form of a son, a nephew, a niece, a daughter, um, a goddaughter, a uh, a young neighbor uh, or the child of someone around you that you know you're close to. Um, they may be coming into you or they're there now. But the message that I'm getting here now is that there's going to be some challenging information coming in. <coughs> and with this challenging information, there may be delays and changes to plans that you have been working on. And um, you're, you're giving a heads up about that and also you're going to be receiving a message and the message is going to be about something truthful that you're going to find out but the messenger delivering it is not going to be very tactful so as I tell everybody when this card comes up don't attack the messenger just concentrate on the message they are delivering you on Friday you've been given another air card and this is the five of air. And this is talking about you having to make a choice. But right now they're saying that this choice is unwise for you to do. And you're going to learn from this situation and this choice that you have to make. Because it's also warning that there are others around you that are going to be involved with you making this choice that do not have the same motives as you. So learn from this situation when you are faced with this choice. On Saturday, you've, given a, you've been given a beautiful water card, and it is the Nine of Water. And as I tell you guys, you know I love the water cards and because they're about romance and the love in our life and our relationships. And this one basically says everything's going fantastic. And you, if you've been worried about a relationship in your life right now, for some of you, don't allow it to bother you anymore because those worries are going to fade away very quickly because it's saying that right now in your love life your wishes are all coming true great card
Now, on Sunday, you have been given the page of water. And the page of water is uh, could be about a young person. Again, as I mentioned, the page, it can be male or female. It's a young individual. And they're intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and very, very friendly. And they may be coming into you or around you at this time. The message on this card is basically uh, a new person is going to come into your life. And um, it's a relationship that's going to be begin a new phase. Um, but also, it's... Um, it's about a relationship that moves to the next level. And it is a romantic person coming in to your life and for some of you. And for some of you, it, if it isn't the person themselves, you're going to receive a message of love in the form of perhaps a love letter. And uh, then for others, it's talking about you um, and how your intuitive uh, ability is going to become enhanced and you're going to experience psychic experiences in your life and some of you already are intuitive and quite psychic anyway and you are light workers within yourself but what it's saying is basically um, you're going to start realizing this and bringing out your natural gifts uh, and being able to use them now, that was your seven card read for the week, and I said I, I had pulled an oracle card at the end, and the oracle card at the end is Have Confidence Aquarius. So it's basically a, a very easy card to understand. If you've been going through issues in your life, and right now you're feeling a little beaten down and worn down, um, and you're lacking confidence, it's saying really you need to just forget about that. All you have to do is um, it's mind over matter. It's your um, free will. And uh, and again, what I said, what we project, we, we attract. And all you have to do is ask your guides, your spirit guides, your divine guides for that confidence that you feel you're lacking. And you will receive it. Believe, manifest. 